Welcome today, AC and Akani. Today, I'll be unboxing the monster of all Ants Canada items, an Outworld. It's blank on all sides, see, except for the top, which shows you the product, and says it's from Ants Canada, right there. It also tells you what it is, and what it looks like, which I appreciate. I'm gonna take it off, and there. First... First, we take out is some large vinyl tubing, which can be connected to the Outworld, but I'll show you that later. And we have a little bag of plug of two plugs. Then we have the big monster Outworld itself. <laughs> it's in the styrofoam or whatever thing. Oh. And it can be taken apart in several different ways. You can take it off like this. You can take it off like this for before you move the ants in. Um, and the top, it has two entrances right there. Is two entrances right there, there and there. It's got some air holes there and up on the top. It can be taken apart in different ways. Um. The first way is by opening this food chute right here. Okay, it's really hard to pop off. Okay, I can't pop that open. It's really tough. Um, right, you can take it apart. Ugh. All right, this is tough. All right, I'm just gonna take this thing off. All right, it's really hard to pop open, so I'm just gonna take that off. And you can open it up this way. And you can open it up this way and place this on. The upside down lip right there is meant for putting a barrier, an ant barrier so the ants can't escape. I'm gonna try again to open up the food chute. It's gonna be really hard. All right. Can't take it off. Just gonna replace the lid. Uh. Alright, gonna replace this lid. And this fell off. And the also these little this bag of little plugs I showed you a little bit earlier. Sorry, I sorry I don't have a tripod. So it's really hard for me to show you that. I'm going, it, they can fit in, they can fit in like this. Okay. They can fit in like that. They also have ventilation holes so that there can be ventilation through that part of the nest, but you don't really need it on outwards. I won't be using those and, you know, stuff. So. There's also the large vinyl tubing, which can fit in to those parts as well. It's just really hard to do it on film without a tripod, so I'm just gonna... That's the back, by the way. I'm just gonna... It goes this way, so you technically... So if you want to make, create an average nest for a large colony, you could cut the vinyl tubing in half. Snip, snip. You, and, and connect it to a hybrid nest right here. But I don't have one yet. That, and they could be connected. The hybrid nest would be the nest, of course, and the outworld would sort of be the, well, the the forging area hope you hope you enjoyed this week's video also thank you non and papa for giving me the outworld oh sorry i forgot to show you i forgot to show you how the vinyl tubing fits in it fits in inside of that
is this polyvinyl tubing is very escape proof. And so is the outworld if you add the barrier. Thank you for watching. And it's, it, remember, it's ant love forever.